Welcome back to Texelated, Isolated with Technology. And today we're going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 Classic. <laughs> All right, here it is, the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic from Samsung. Um, came out a couple of months ago, so I'm kind of late on the unboxing. But you know what I say, better late than never. I'm a tech head, so a tech head must get his tech. So Samsung Galaxy Classic 4, I'm coming from the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. So time for an upgrade you know how it goes so this is the 46 millimeter version it's got bluetooth wi-fi and gps it says here use with a smartphone running android 6.0 or higher and ram of 1.6 gigabytes and above all right so let's get into it not not much to say about this it's simple quite simple straightforward get into the box so there's the watch what do we have in here anything that I need other than the manual as usual looks like the cables are in here the charger so just a little tiny charger um, they switched it up from the galaxy watch 3 it was more like a stand charger this looks like just a lay down charger oh, and it's magnetized which is pretty cool USB A to power it and nothing else in there and nothing else in there So here it is, the Galaxy Watch 4, 46 millimeters black. And we're gonna check and see if we have power. Yes, we do. It's about the exact same size as what I had before. So the biggest difference with this now is uh, this is running Wear OS alongside Samsung's own Tizen. Whereas the Galaxy Watch 3 was strictly Tizen. So the fact that it's running Wear OS, which is Google's watch operating system, means that it has access to all the apps inside the App Store, the Google App Store. That's one of the reasons why I decided to get this one. Well, that's it, the Galaxy Watch 4 46 millimeter with the Wear OS and Tizen. Thank you for joining me on Texelated, Isolated with Technology, and I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.